Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to the next 48 hours. <laughs> I hope that everybody is just doing really blessed and just having all this amazing energy within them at this moment. Peace and light to every one of you. Um, we're just going to get entwined with your energy and see what we have for you for the next 48. It seems like it's been three days since the last 48. I did a this is what they want to say to you in the next 48, but I want to pull up your energy. It's two different kind of 48s on this channel. So the normal one that we always start off with, I haven't done that for like probably three days. It seems like three days. I've been tapping into other energies, which is very exciting. So let's just see what the Holy Spirit has for you, Scorpios, for the next 48 hours. Thank you divine lord what's going on with scorpio's energy scorpio's now if this message does resonate with you go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt but if it doesn't resonate i will have your playlist in the description box for you those of you who are interested in a personal reading everything should be in the bio as well along with the offers that i do have available for the month of what month is this oh my gosh <laughs> august um your girl is so lost um for the month of august all the offers are there except for the three question read um uh the three question read would be no longer available okay so i feel like a lot of people are trying to book that reading for a personal reading it's three questions only we shouldn't have to be on one question for like 20 minutes and then other question for like 20 minutes that's not fair to everybody else that is paying for a 20 minute 30 minute package 40 minute package you know so that is so gone and it's not coming back okay um that is crazy and yeah and i'm not the kind of person to cut someone off or to hang up or anything like that i'm not that kind of girl but i don't like to be taken advantage of either so you know healthy boundaries <laughs> all right so scorpio we're gonna get entwined i've been shuffling since we started so let's see holy spirit there's a message already the tower scorpio's energy isn't that crazy scorpio's energy along with the aries for those of you who are involved with an aries or some kind of power struggle within this relationship in the next 48 i'm seeing some kind of fallout within the next 48 as well some kind of huge transition is happening and it's been boiling up and it's going to happen within the next three days so let's just get entwined with what this is you see as i'm shuffling it's like not even some you know time to like really get into it but we have the six of pentacles here okay there is a lot of unbalanced unbalanced situation this is what i'm hearing Ooh, there's a lot of unbalances. This person didn't want to even give you no stability. I'm seeing the seven of cups here, the, four, the five of wands energy, also the ten of pentacles. So you have some kind of contract with this person for those of you, Scorpios, in the next 48, that you're just trying to keep this situation together because of this contract, whether it is a family situation or a family dynamic. Um, or you could have your own family, like, uh, you know, have a child with this person and you're trying to keep this family together, but there's so much situations here, like conflicts, you and this argument and other people that might be involved with this. So of course you can say this is a third party situation, but I feel like it's more than that. It's multiple people, multiple, multiple people coming out here and with the seven of cups, a lot of different options. And this person is just like, forget about us, forget about us. My energy is just not there at the moment with this six of pentacles and this knight of pentacles energy. It's just like they're not entwined with you at the moment. They're not even trying with the page of pentacles here. So let's see. I feel like whatever stability is here is what you have been given this person, honestly. So tell me more, tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. 
Holy Spirit, tell me more for Scorpio. I feel like this real passionate goosebumps energy that's coming out for you, Scorpio. I don't know what this is about, but tell me more, tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio. What is going on for Scorpio? So separation for those of you. This is what I'm seeing here, separation. I'm also seeing the star here. So the universe is getting involved with this, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands is in reverse. That's crazy. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands is in reverse. Okay. Um, tell me more, Holy Spirit. This could be a marriage that is going downhill for those of you as well. Okay, one thing I don't like, oh my god, is that, oh, hold on, did I read, okay, the Knight of Pentacles, okay, all right, because I'm like, hold on, there's way too many knights coming out here in reverse, you know, this is what I'm getting, so there's a huge loss here, I feel like the only thing that is trying to be kept together is this family dynamic, like, Everything else that you have built, everything that you want for yourself is just coming. It's like you're losing this situation. You're losing this foundation. You're losing your marriage. You're losing money. Money is a factor here as well. A lot of you are going to be starting over from scratch. This is what I'm seeing here. You're protecting your money. For those of you, you have the Queen of Pentacles energy. It's like this person is trying to take so much from you. But you're trying to protect this. You're trying to protect this foundation, this family, the thing, your home. This is also your home. You're trying to protect, but it's some kind of um, separation or divorce here that is being called. For those of you who are not married, that I'm just seeing that you're losing the foundation of this relationship. Like a lot of money came into this. It's like an ex like an example. You got a house with someone and you put a lot of money into it, and you lived in this house, and now you guys are breaking apart. Like you guys are going your separate ways, and this person is trying to sell this house or take this house from you. You're losing that force of money. You know, um, you're so frustrated that a lot of you are just going to walk away from this house or walk, walk away from the something that you that is yours. You know what I mean? Um, I'm seeing like there's like no new beginning here, but there's going to be an opportunity within the star presented for you. It's not going to be created by you or the other person. It's going to be created by the universe. Tell me more. Oh, Lord, that's too much. Oh, my gosh. Too much. I can't take. I'll just take whatever flipped over. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit. I'll just take whatever flipped. Okay, so we have the page. We have the page of swords here. We also have the world in the upright we also have the king of pentacles in the high priestess energy <sighs> why am i seeing some form of communication i'm seeing some form of communication happening here like this person needs you but there's a huge cycle here Like they're trying to find out what else to do. I'm seeing um, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo in, in, within the world's energy here. As um, major arcanas. And then I'm seeing Cancer within High Priestess. The star is Aquarius. Like I said, Scorpio came out first with Aries in the tower. But I feel like you already know that this is coming. You're like you already made your decisions or already prepped for what you need to do. Everything is in place for you. I feel like a lot of you have been working really hard to get ready for this transition. You and this person could have lived, not lived, but work at the same place or you have um, went to school for the same trade. Like, I'm seeing um, similarities between you and this energy. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Wow, Six of Cups. Oh, 
Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in reverse as well. You have three aces so far in reverse. You have the Six of Cups. So you're drawn to this person. This was a faded union. This was a contract within the Wheel of Fortune energy. There's a completion happening here. So there's an ending within the world. The cycle has ended as well. Has ended as well because I just feel like within the Wheel of Fortune, whatever you felt like you had to learn within this situation, you did. You can't take it anymore. You're giving this to the angels to to try to fix, to try to change this person. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have the moon here. Also have the five of pentacles. So this hardship, you doing things alone is coming to an end. Um, some kind of money issues are also going to be sorted out because I felt like a lot of pentacles were in reverse where you're losing a lot. And that is also coming up in reverse. There is this energy that is telling you, I feel like your intuition is speaking to you and saying like, yeah, be, be aware of this, be aware of that. Whatever you feel is accurate, like it is right, is correct. Don't just put it to the side. This is what I'm being told. <clears throat> There's going to be communication. I'm seeing this King of Swords in the next 48. Wow, you guys are similar. I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of uh, Swords, King of Swords. You guys are very similar, but one is always up, one is down. You know what I'm saying? So Queen of Pen the Queen of Pentacles is, yes, all the queens, the Queens of Pentacles is up, but the kings are. So what? Are, whoever is a feminine energy, it doesn't want to communicate, okay? Whoever is a masculine wants to communicate wherever that might be. So that could might be you, Scorpio. You might be the masculine within this reading um, that wants to communicate within this situation and your person might be a feminine and how you know is a feminine, you know, someone that is nurturing and kind and someone that wants to keep everything together, you know, someone wants to provide, someone who cares, you know, someone that is emotional, not afraid of their feelings. A masculine is someone that is not quite emotional and someone that is about um, keeping the household um, safe from other predators, I guess you want to say. Um, someone that is more about making more money making make sure they're they're the, the the masculine making more money um they're always higher than the other like there is not an equal there you know it's like y there is a place there's a level like they just want to be on top um so just whatever however that resonates for you i'm also getting yin and yang for those of you um similar but not quite the same. So you could be deal with another Scorpio. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. Okay. We have the Three of Wands coming up. So a lot of you, this has been happening for a while. For some of you, this person have another ears behind them as well. I'm just getting like this person has a lot of, this could be a third party situation. This could be a separation that's in the works for like a long time. Or a situation that was going to end for a long time. You could even knew about this third party situation here for a long time. Or this, you know, seven of cups here for a long time. Something to do with, you know... There was a conflict, but nobody addressed it, and it kind of bottled up and bottled up until it was uh, there was no more room for it. So this is let's this is let's just see because let's just see what this person's energy has going on. Squirts. Okay, let's see what this person's energy got going on here. Who is this person in the next forty-eight that's coming out for Scorpio? 
I just had a good energy for you guys. I felt like something new, something exciting is coming into your life. And those of you, I felt like you want excitement to be in your life. It's kind of like a pattern right now. Um, so I just had this like goosebumps of energy and it was excitement of energy. And I'm really just still here, but something amazing is going to happen for you. And it just felt like, you know, just uh, this energy of love for you. So let's just see what this person has. What's this person's energy towards Scorpio, Holy Spirit? What's this person's energy towards Scorpio, Holy Spirit? Okay, let's see what we have. Four. Let's see. Wow. Someone is trying to change, trying to be better, trying to work on themselves, trying to like really determine. So this person, let me just see really quickly, is coming off as a masculine for those of you. Tell me more, please. Ooh. It's like they're really determined. And they're really passionate about this. It's like they're really ready to like play some kind of like new perspective over this relationship. You know, they've been giving you the four of cups for so long. And this is like, this is what they might just do again. But their intentions is to be successful here with the king of wands energy. But I feel like with this energy, it's like they're going to take it easy the way they're going to approach or come back into your life or try to. Because remember, I told you, I felt like someone wants to con like communicate. A masculine wants to communicate. And the queen, which is the feminine, wants nothing to do with this person anymore. <laughs> the next 48. Um, I'm seeing a lot of chapters that needs to be closed here. This person still looks at you as someone that they can work with. Like, you guys can make it together. Um, there is some bad things about this connection, but there is some good things too. Um, they're approaching you as the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you're protecting yourself from this person or this person is stressing you out. They're a little bit too overwhelming for you, too masculine for you. All right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Ten of Pentacles here as well. Tell me more. Tell me more. Wow, something to do with family and love. This person has some kind of contract with you, and that's what I picked up before as well in the next 48. It's something to do with this contract and love. It's like they really want to make this work because this is in jeopardy at this moment. For some of you already decided to go your separate ways here. Um, again, a lot of like similarities is coming up. We have the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups in reverse. So you're saying that it's like some it's like this person is saying that they're not very emotional or they don't show emotion you know what i mean and this is something that they need to work on this is something that is causing this relationship to go south because of their emotions because of you know um them not being able to tell you what you mean to them this is causing a lot of conflicts within the relationship um so the stability is off as well. Let's see here. Communication too. Tell me more Holy Spirit. For Scorpio next 48. 
it up the way it fell. Okay. This person is not ready like I'm just getting like this not ready for a real connection here because I keep getting for the streets energy and this is why you're blocking them they is not only that they're not emotionally connected or don't let you know how they feel about you or take you seriously emotionally it's that this person is putting their energy in something else here and they're kind of like it's so many things I just feel like it's about stability it's about yes them opening up to you emotionally but it's also about conversations as well like this person doesn't know how to speak to you have a conversation with you there's no trust within this connection and i feel like this money issue that was coming up like i said before they're also bringing that up there's going to be a lot of loss but obviously this is, is coming to an end within their energy so i feel like they might be assisting you with this situation this loss this money situation here they do want another chance here but I feel like there's an extreme jealousy here there's a huge sadness that they bring into your life I feel like this person do feel sad about this connection because this is their swatch but at the same time I'm just picking up you coming in as well like they're bringing how you feel within the next 48 okay tell me more tell me more tell me more so a lot of you are dealing with a lot of sadness, depression, mental triggers, physical triggers as well that you're dealing with because of this energy. Let's see here. Well, look, look at this. But I don't think that this person is ready to leave. They're having doubts about this. Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. Again, the Seven of Cups come. Okay, so look at this. This relationship is going through this because they can't fill your cup because the Seven of Cups, they're filling all of these cups, different people. This is why the Five of Pentacles is here. This is why the Ace of Pentacles is here. You see how they all lined up? They can't give you the time that you need. So the relationship is going downhill. They're spending money on these people as well because your your house is empty, right? And then it's all because of other people. Now, I'm also picking up that if it's not a third party when it comes to sexual desires, because this is not in reverse, this is like it could be family as well. Like they're just given or it could be an ex-family of theirs, like they could have been married before or they have children with someone else or um, and they have to provide for that person, right? Or their family. When money is just is just bringing a toll on your relationship but there's a lot of craziness here I'm hearing it's time to grow up because I feel like this this situation what they're dealing with is costing them their whole foundation like whoever they're invested in because clearly they have a family of their own. But it's really bringing a lot of strain <laughs> into their relationship. And they could be losing everything because they're not making that their, their spouse happy, which is you. Ooh, oh, God, I kept going, but it's okay. We can do this. Oh, wow, the star is going to create something into, entwined with this. They're going to have to, within the universe, is going to bring you guys back together because it's going to create some kind of um, opportunity for you and this person to actually deep dive into your deepest desires because your deepest desires includes both of you. Um, but I'm seeing the five of swords so this person has a coldness about them. I do see like whatever they have said or done that really just killed you in your heart. So they did something to embarrass you. They did something to to just make you feel a certain way about yourself. Um, and it wasn't in a good way. I feel like this person enjoyed this moment of sorrow within your eyes. 
this person just and it's like it's crazy it was just so cold and just so like free like this didn't bother them like you were hurting and it didn't bother them and they're supposed to be your partner within this situation and you can't understand that because if you're with someone if they hurt you hurt and you were hurting and they didn't hurt it's like they enjoyed this but i'm seeing like you are like they are trying to come back and trying to like act like that didn't happen if that makes sense even though there is a conflict between you and this person that never been addressed they're trying to invest in this conflict they're trying to fix this conflict and try to see if what they can do like within the star but i don't feel like this is going to be a part of that i feel like this opportunity here is going to be from the universe from your guides coming together their guides your guides <laughs> coming together and having a conversation on the other side and saying okay we need to help them because they need help <laughs> okay so oh my god look at that temperance the angels the angels and time divine timing is a must here something about you and this person needs each other to make something work here it's like you need to be in each other's life even if you decide not to be together and they're trying to make a way for that to happen something that you have to learn from each other wow okay let's just see here i'm gonna tap into this person's feelings because i feel like we should we feel like we should let's see what this person feels for you okay, what is this person's energy for squirps this is person's energy for squirps please thank you this is person's energy for squirps thank you divine light holy spirit lord god thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Blessed Scorpio spirit, please release any darkness from Scorpio. Blessed Scorpio spirit, release anything that is negative towards Scorpio. Amen. I just don't know if something just made me do a little prayer for you because I just felt like there was something heavy that needed to be released from you. Three cards, please, for Scorpio. One more. This person's energy. So they are jiggling and jaggling. <laughs> Two of Cups. They, they care about you. Not even care about you. They love you. This person loves you a lot. Mutual feelings for you. This is what I'm seeing. They want a brand new beginning, but there are some things that you're going to have to find out and choose if you're going to stay or to go. They feel like you're going to go anywhere. They're going to lose you within the middle of this energy, within this card with the seven of uh, swords. There's a lot of gossip that's going to be happening, a lot of talk. Uh, you know, something similar to the five of swords, you know, they're coming back. For some of you already know what this is um, and you're dealing with it. But they're saying that is so much more <laughs> layers to it. And you have to figure this out first. It's coming very quickly. Coming very quickly. Um, so they're going to have to make a decision here between the two. They're not making that decision right now. I feel like they're waiting for you to see where you're going to be, how you're going to be acting in the next 48. Let's see. Let's be nosy, huh? Wow. Yeah. They want to be with you. Look at that. Some of you could be married. They're really, so they're the one that's praying, hoping and praying, manifesting you in their lives. <sighs> they're tying themselves to you. I mean, they don't have to because you're already theirs. You're in your, you're, you know, and I don't want to say it like that, but you're already theirs. They're already yours. You have a contract together. You're here to experience this form of love with each other. So they're manifesting you in a good way, not in a bad way. So they're not using black magic on you or anything like that. The one the ma magician, if it was like this, I'd be like, run for the hills. But <laughs> but they're you. They're praying for you the right way. You just got a lot of conflicts, but they want to make this work within the high front. Being here, 
they don't care about what other people are saying but with the night with a ten of uh cups being like this it's like they're taking a step back and seeing if this is something that they truly want anymore which they still do but it's like the future is just not set you know that fulfillment like they don't see you staying with them after you figure this out for the end of time you know there's something that they have done really bad here in the next 48 that you know your energy is like this and you're picking them up as the player you know <laughs> i'm saying so let's just see what you feel scorps because darn all right so what this person feels what no what scorps feels for this person please the scorps energy for this person God, we're already 30 minutes in. I was trying to just let this video be 30, but I guess we can't. All the information and messages that, you know, is meant to be given for you today. I feel like we're just going to have to roll with it. All right, so let's see. What's Scorpio's energy towards this person, Holy Spirit? What's Scorpio's energy towards this person, Holy Spirit? What's Scorpio's energy towards this person, Holy Spirit? Okay, so let's see what we have for you, beautiful Scorpios. I feel like your energy is clear because I did that prayer. Something was really trying to... I was picking up like this um, dark force. I don't feel like this person put it on you. I feel like um, whatever this person has been going through is kind of like they're... Because you're around that energy, that energy is attached to you because this person has been touching you this person has been around you so you're just walking around with that person's energy for those of you who are wearing bracelets or chains or any kind of um items on your skin for protection you need to take it off clean it with water okay do a little prayer over it and then place it back on your body okay that person have touched it and that person's energy is just not it's not their energy i feel like it's other people's energy that they're with or they're dealing with as well that is touching it that is not too too pure and they're transferring it to you you know it's like an std for example <laughs> you know how you got that from other people because they got that from someone else yeah that exactly what that is all right so we have the wheel of fortune for you you feel like this person is faded but you have so many questions you want so many answers you feel like if this person doesn't talk to you and tell you the truth there's not going to be an opportunity for you and them to be together i'm also seeing the ten of pentacles everything is riding on these this um this coming this information these these questions that you have so if they don't talk to you and tell you the truth yeah you're going to do the ten of pentacles in reverse you're going to separate yourself from this person um yes this is a faded union you know that you feel like this home like home connection to this person like you know for some of you know this person for so, such a long time but this could also represent a past life connection as well like you just know that this person was a past life connection like not in this life in a past life like when you met you just know that you it, it's like you ask each other did we meet before who's your friends like who's your family like i just know you from somewhere but i just can't put a finger on it like you just know that you have seen this person be few before like you have seen this person's eyes before you know um because i'm seeing like you're like you still want to invest in this person don't get it twisted you still want to you still love them you still have a connection to them they just know you better than anybody else but everything is riding on this information that you want for this person for some of you your twin flame connection coming up here like you're dealing with your twin flame i'm seeing that this is incomplete by the way so this you know this is not over as much as you wanted to uh scorpio okay the universe have other plans for you and this person all right yeah you're making preparations but you don't want to leave this person you actually want to celebrate with this person you want to move forward you want to be happy you know you don't want to argue with this person enough is enough you just want the information and you just want them you want them to trust you with the information that you're going to make the decision that is best for you and for them whether it is moving on from each other or being together and fighting for each other but you want them to trust you enough to have that choice and this person is like scared that you're going to leave so that's what i have for you guys for your next 48 i know this was deep usually your 48s are not this long well not really right but if this resonates go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt if it doesn't i will have the playlist linked below in the description 
and all the information on the personal readings are also in the bio so check that out before hitting me up by email okay and i love you guys and i will see you guys in your next one and see you soon bye peace and light